all right so in this video we are gonna learn how to use a facebook ads manager if you are familiar with this dashboard to run your own app campaigns or if you want to promote your own app uh, or or if you're working somewhere and and your founder has or your ceo or your boss has told to increase the scale of the app or market an app how to do that using facebook and this is uh, this is step by step i'm going to teach you i'm going to assume that okay you don't know anything and so it's a beginner's course so if you already know it just skip this video all right so first things first this is something called as a uh, facebook ads manager so what we are going to do we are going to click on create here there are three things on facebook ads manager one is a campaign one is an ad set one is an ad there you create a campaign under campaigns there are ad sets you can have multiple ad sets for ad sets you can you can get uh, you can understand it as um, audience sets so so one campaign can have multiple audience sets and one audience set can have multiple ads you will get a hang of it once we start so what we are going to do we are going to click on create and what facebook asks first is choose a campaign objective there are multiple campaign objectives but for this specific video since we are talking about app promotion the name says it all right uh, we are going to click on app promotion and then what you do you click on continue easy till now okay perfect so what we do here first is this is called nomenclature or a campaign name whatever you might you might call if you are in a company your company may be following a style of nomenclature or a style of naming for the ease ease of reporting and for the ease of everyone so either you can just follow that or or if you if you don't then what we can do is let's name uh, this as okay let me make it very simple let's assume that we are promoting an app which is like a headspace which means that the app is into meditation uh, to to improve sleep and everything right so let's call the campaign as let's say, let's call the uh, let's call the app as med two let's go we'll put the campaign objective since the campaign objective is app um, app promotion so we are just going to call it app installs and then there are, there are some marketers who put the date so for the ease of it if you don't want just don't put okay uh, just ignore these parts uh, you can just google it to understand what is a, what is what is exactly an auction um, and uh, what is an advantage plus campaigns and everything but let's just proceed so once you give the campaign name you click on next here is where the main action happens here is where you need to spend your most of the time so just as i told you one ad set is equal to one audience set which means that you have to first decide who are you going to show this ad right so let's say i decide that i want to show this ad to people who are interested in meditation so i'll name it accordingly interest meditation here is where you have to type and just input your ad name since headspace is not my own app so i will not install but you 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 have to you have to put your uh, app's name here here you can do uh, city based targeting uh, you can do a pin code based targeting you can do a country based targeting whatever it is you can put your language so you can put hindi english whatever you want let's spend slightly more time here to understand what are these optimization controls we will be talking more about app events and uh, app install campaigns with app events in the later videos but let's stick on this specific video this is about app installs so the moment you create an app install campaign what objective are you giving to the facebook that hey man i want maximum install volume in whatever budget i have asked you to give right now let's talk about basics if you tell facebook to give you maximum app installs but if your objective is let's say account creation or registration or sign up there is a very very chance of 60% to a 70% your objective will not be met because you told facebook that hey i am only interested in volume i am not interested in people who will do an app install and will also take an action the second part is called an app events campaign we will be talking in the next video i'll be releasing that soon but both have their own significance and the right way is this if you are someone who has less 
um, less budget to start off with. If you're a first time founder, having a less budget, don't do an app, app events campaign, do an app install campaign. If you are a small business founder, don't do an app event campaign. If you are launching an app for the first time and you have to get the initial traction, my suggestion, start with an app install campaign, get the first thousand or two thousand installations with good targeting, obviously. Then uh, once you have at least 10,000 installs, bare minimum 10,000 installs, then you can start doing app events campaign. Do not ever start app events campaign whenever you launch if you don't have money. Okay, because what will happen is the moment you do app events campaign, the costing, the cost per install versus a cost per app event is massively different. Like you can get a cost per install at 12 rupees, but your cost per event might be 90 rupees. 150 rupees 200 rupees or whatever okay now what will happen is if you have if you're if you're short in money if you are extremely extremely less in money and you are running an app event campaign you are basically uh, not letting the facebook's algorithm to learn they will get two to three events passed per day and they will not learn anything okay i'll just take a pause here we'll not talk about events or and anything as i promised because it's a slightly advanced topic next video pakka promise all right so we have set here app events. What you can do, you can set a bid cap also. Let me just slightly explain here about the bid cap. Bid cap basically means that if I put app install campaign, if I do not set a bid cap, what happens? That means you're allowing Facebook to bid automatically. They will do automated bidding. One day you might get 12 rupees app install cost. One day you might get 20 rupees. One day you might get 25 rupees. If you have, are again tight in budget and you are like, okay, 18 rupees se upar, I will not be giving. Then just click on 18 rupees. Uh, and Facebook will not spend more than 18 rupees. Okay, that's a that's a bit cap. Then put your logic. Either you can do a lifetime budget or you can do a daily budget. Depends on companies to companies. If your company ha ha op does not care about every day how many installs you get, please go ahead with lifetime. Daily budget is generally for the people who have to have a basic daily volume of installs because they have a mandate. So put your daily budget here. Let's say I put my daily budget here as 2000. And what we do, we click on next. So here we go. 80% of the job is complete. We are done with the campaign setting. We are done with the ad set setting. We're at last page. Here is where the main magic happens. Your ad is creative. Your ad is the lifeline. What are the two parts of the lifeline? Two parts are your copy, which is the content and your creative. Generally, in my experience, let me tell you what works for app install campaigns. Please use it as a growth hack. Please use it as a playbook uh, because no one is going to tell you. You can you can share it with anyone. I won't mind. Okay. Carousal, uh, carousal ads will cost you higher. Video ads will cost you lower if it's a good video. Video ads of 15 seconds will cost you lower. Video ads of two minutes will cost you higher. Image ad uh, versus video ad. Video ad performs better. Video ad that are extremely crisp in four to 10 seconds performs even better than a 15 second ad. Yeah, yeah. I just told you all of the learnings that I have learned in the last five years. All right. So just play around, have a good text, have a good headline. I won't explain this part i want you to uh, i want you to figure it out and just feel free to play around and yeah um some extra learnings put an emoticon inside your headline it improves the ctr put an emoticon in the primary text whenever you're writing a copy it improves the ctr um, what else is there that i can share with you in this video nothing this is it this is how you start your first app install campaign and you keep on learning with time. That's all for today. Thank you so much. I will be explaining you advanced topic in the next video.